represents your method, your skillful means to get enlightened. The bell and the door jay, basically. So sometimes you see him holding them crossed at his heart. Again, bell and door jay representing emptiness, your view, and your method, compassion, bodhicitta, the way. And those are the two wings of the bird we need to fly to enlightenment. So just to imagine this Vajrasattva over top your crown as if he's really there, radiant crystal light. And imagine at his tiny heart is a moon disc lying flat, little white, white circle. In the center of that is his seed syllable, Hong. You can just visualize upright, H-U-N-G, standing upright in the nature of silvery light. If you want to get fancier, the moon that he's resting on is like a conch shell colored white. And around the edge of that moon, like a strand of radiant pearls, is Vajrasattva's 100 syllable mantra standing clockwise. Light radiates from that. I'm just trying to, great, just trying to. Mute every, okay, there we go. Light radiates from the mantra garland at his tiny heart, from the hung syllable to the 10 directions from every pore of his body streaming out. And it not only blesses all living beings all over the planet, all over every world system, but hooks all the blessings and realizations of all the holy beings. And that comes racing back into the center of his heart, over top your crown, fully energizing Vajrasattva. And imagine the light and nectar continues to pour forth from his heart, filling his entire being now. And let's think of the four opponent powers, the most effective way to do this practice and to do purification. Let's start with the power of regret, even though these are sometimes listed in different orders. So if you like to think of a specific negativity that you may have done this past week, something recent that's difficult, something in the past that you've done with your body, speech, or mind. And in your heart, just generate a very deep sense of regret, very deep sorrow for having done this negativity, okay? Without the guilt that just stays and ruminates, okay? We're human beings and we mess up, that's all, okay? But do generate the sorrow from that because we're gonna drive it into this practice to help us do more effective purification. Just take a moment to experience that regret. The next opponent power is refuge or reliance. Turning to the practice right now. <clears throat> we have this verse that we could read together. And if there's anything you can't see, just let me know, just unmute and let me know. And this is also something that's been requested to do for Lama Zopa Rinpoche's long life, as well as to purify those obstacles, this particular four line refuge prayer. So let's read once in English, and then we can chant it twice in the phonetics. And really feeling Vajrasattva over top your crown, that this is who, could this be a source of more protection for us for more suffering? Just get rid of all those windows. Okay, there we go. Really feeling that refuge from your heart. Vajrasattva is an aspect of the Buddha mind, the omniscient mind. So could this be a source of more protection from you, from more suffering? I take refuge until I'm enlightened in the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. By my merits of generosity and so forth, 
may I become a Buddha to benefit transmigratory beings. Oh, the third opponent power after regret and reliance is remedy. So we're going to recite some Vajrasattva mantras that I'm going to show you in a minute. And imagine out of Vajrasattva's body, out of all the pores of his body, where all these light rays and nectars are, come streaming and overflowing out of every pore of his body, all this purifying energy that comes and cascades down through our crown, like a radiant waterfall, washing down and out all the negativities we've done with our body. Let's do that visualization right now while we recite uh, one of the mantras. And there's different visualizations, but we're gonna start with that one. <clears throat> and here's the long and the short mantra on the screen. We're gonna start with the long mantra. We're gonna do it three times. And just imagine again, light and nectar washing down and out all the negativities that leave you through the lower openings of your body till they're completely gone. Om Vajra Sattva Samaya Manu Palaya Vajra Sattva Dino Bhadi Dadi Do Me Bhava Suto Kayo Me Bhava Supo Kayo Me Bhava Anu Rakto Me Bhava Sarva Siddhi Me Prayatsa Sarva Karma Susame Sitam Shriyam Guru Om Ha 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 Ho Bhagavan Sarva Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bhava Maha Samaya Sarva Ahum Peng. And I just want to give you a rough idea of the meaning of the mantra. <clears throat> See, I thought it was in here. Might be in my other text. Let's see. <clears throat> here we go. I used to have a little, okay. This is just a general, the above talks about each specific word, but just general, you Vajrasattva have generated the holy mind of Bodhicitta according to your Samaya. Your holy mind is enriched with the simultaneously born holy action of liberating transmigratory beings from samsara. Whatever happiness and suffering, good and bad happens to me, by my pleasing the holy mind, never give me up and guide me. Please stabilize the realizations of the paths and bumis, those are the different levels of the paths, including the happiness of the upper realms. Actualize all actions and the common and sublime realizations and make the glory of the five wisdoms abide in my heart. So that's kind of the essence of what the mantra means. Let's recite a couple more times right now. <clears throat> Again, the visualization, everything washing down and out through the lower openings of the body, purifying the body. Om Vajra Sattva Samaya Manu Palaya Vajra Sattva Dino Bhadi Dadi Do Me Bhava Sudo Kayo Me Bhava Subo Kayo Me Bhava Anurakto me bhava, sarva siddhi me prayata, sarva karma susame, sitam driyam guru hum, ha 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 ho bhagavan, sarva tata gata vajra mame mutsa, vajra bhava maha samaya sattva, ahum pe, om vajra sattva samaya manu palaya, vajra sattva dino pa, Dida dido me bava, sudo gayo me bava, subo gayo me bava, anurakto me bava, sarva siddhi me payata, sarva karma susame, sitam triyam guru hom, ha 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 ho, bhagavan, sarva tata gata, vajra mame muta, vajra bava maha samaya sattva, ah, 
Okay. So please continue a little bit on your own with the long mantra or the short, which is Om Vajrasattva Hom. There's other visualizations of all the nectar and rays coming down and then washing all the dirt back up and out of the upper openings of your body, purifying speech. All the nectar and light rays coming down to a constricted knot at your heart level, purifying mind and, and letting that be washed away. So three different visualizations. You can try whichever one you like at whichever pace. Oh, my just have to Om Bhadra Zadva Zamaya Manu Palaya Bhadra Zadva Dino Bhadi Dadi Dome Bhava Sudo Gayo Me Bhava Zuko Gayo Me Bhava Anu Rakto Me Bhava Sarva Siddhi Me Brayata Sarva Kar Susame Sitam Driyam Guru Ha 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 Ho Bhagava Sarva Tata Gata Bhadra Mame Mut Vajra Bhava Mahasamaya Sarva Ahum <clears throat> So the last of the four opponent powers is the power of resolution. So just take a moment, whatever negativity you were focused on, Think about a realistic time period you can refrain from doing that negativity and just think that I will refrain from doing that negativity for whatever time frame you'd like to set that is realistic. So if you say I'll never get angry again, it may not be likely and it doesn't create any new habit for you, any new neural pathway. If you say for the first five minutes, I'm with that irritating person again, that really stretches my patience, I will not get angry at them and you keep it, wonderful to create a new habit for you. So imagine Vajrasaf is very pleased over our crowns. It says, child of the lineage, all your negativities, all your broken and degenerated vows are now completely purified. To so just feel that you've definitely purified something. And imagine Vajrasapa slowly dissolves from the edges of that visualization into the center, into a radiant drop of light. And imagine that drop coming to your crown, slowly dissolving into you and feel all the blessings of Vajrasapa's holy body, holy speech, holy mind. Thank you very much. So welcome to some of you who've just joined. Amy Krantz, lovely to have you with us. And Will, 
Bonnie, Sean, Adriana, thank you so much for Lisa. Thank you for Anastra. Thank you for joining. Uh, we're going to go on to the specific practices for His Holiness. <clears throat> for this festival day for his birthday. <clears throat> so again, I mentioned I am going to be moving at a little bit of a clip reading. There's a lot to read and try to think about the meaning of what you are saying. It's really helpful. I just want to start with this quote from Lama Zogrimshi at the beginning of the text. Doing these prayers for His Holiness the Dalai Lama will help your practice very much. You will get the realizations of the path. So I think the more faith we have in that, it really does purify our minds and help us move along the path. And then we can really benefit all living beings. These are some of our preliminary prayers. Some of you may have already done these today. Let's begin. Some of it I will chant, but some of it will read in English because we have a better understanding of that. The guru is Buddha. The guru is Dharma. The guru is also Sangha. The guru is the creator of all happiness. In all the gurus, I take refuge. Lama Sange Lama Chudeje Lama Gedunte Kungije Po Lama Ye Lama Lama The thought desiring to liberate transmigratory beings, I always take refuge in the Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha until the heart of enlightenment is achieved. With perseverance acting with wisdom, compassion, and loving kindness, in front of the Buddhas, for the benefit of sentient beings, I generate the thought of full enlightenment. So if anyone's done any nungnes with me, these are some of the verses we do during the nungnes. Sange chodan gendun la, chanchub nimbor chiki bar, tapar dani kyatsu chi, sherab ninze dan che pe, sompe sem chen dun du dak, sange dun du negite, zope janju senge do. Once again in English. With the thought desiring to liberate transmigratory beings, I always take refuge in the Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha until the heart of enlightenment is achieved. With perseverance acting with wisdom, compassion, and loving kindness in front of the Buddhas for the benefit of sentient beings, I generate the thought of full enlightenment. <clears throat> Everywhere may the ground be pure, free of pebbles and so forth, as level as the palm of the hand in the nature of blue barrel and soft. So imagine a beautiful, pure environment around you. And we're going to ask all the, all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas to come here and be with us. Savior of sentient beings without exception, divine destroyer, the unbearable hordes of Maras and their forces, perfect knower of all things without exception, Bhagawan, together with the rest of us.
May divine and human offerings, both actually arranged and mentally emanated, become clouds of the finest Samantabhadra offerings, filling the entire realm of space. So imagine whatever offerings you have on your altars, but you can imagine all the altars all over the world. Lama Zopram Shea also mentions thinking about his retreat house in Washington, his house in Aptos, California, which is right down the street from where I am right now, uh, Kopan Monastery, our centers in Singapore that have like hundreds of thousands of lights, electric lights burning. And so many, many, many offerings of water bowls and other things, flowers, candles, all multiplying, filling all the space of the finest qualities. You can imagine diamond urns of transcendental nectar towering over holy shrines like the stupa in Bodh Gaya, the stupas in the Kathmandu Valley, and all the holy temples, monasteries, nunneries, tankas, statues, places like all of that, all of our centers, all of which are inseparable from the truth body of the Buddha, Dharmakaya, as we recite these prayers. May divine and human offerings, both actually arranged and mentally created, become clouds of the finest Samantabhadra offerings filling the entire realm of space. And if some of you have heard me say before, Samantabhadra is an offering wizard. So he would light one tea light and it would multiply into infinite. So can our offerings be like that? And let's recite this offering crowd, cloud, Dharani, which helps them multiply, helps them dissolve into emptiness, helps them to be happily accepted by the holy beings we're making these offerings to. Nam namo bhagavade vajra sarva parmadane tathagataya arhate samyak sambuddhaya tayata om vajra vajre maha vajre maha deja vajre maha vidya vajre maha bodhi chita vajre maha bodhi mendova samkramana vajre Sarva karma varana vishadana vajre soham. Om namo bhagavade vajre sarva pamadana dada gataya. Arhate samyak sambudaya tayata. Om vajre vajre ma vajre ma deja vajre ma vidya vajre ma bodhicitta vajre. Ma bodhi mendova sankramana vajre sarva karma varana vishadana. Vajre so hum namo bhagavate vajra sarva bhamadana dada gataya arhate samyak sambudaya tayata om vajre vajre ma vajre ma deja vajre mahabhidya vajre ma bodhijita vajre ma bodhimendo vasankramana vajre sarva karma varana vishadana vajre so by the power of truth of the three rare sublime ones, the blessings of all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, the great wealth of the completed two types of merits and the pure and inconceivable sphere of phenomena. May these piles of clouds of offerings arising through transformation by the Bodhisattvas, Ari Samantabhadra, Manjushri and so forth, unimaginable and inexhaustible equaling the sky, arise and in the presence of the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas of the 10 directions be received. Just imagine these offerings towering over all of these shrines, everything I mentioned, inseparable with one's own virtuous friend, the absolute guru. We also have many offerings here at London Medicine Buddha and at some of your centers. <coughs> this precious seven limb prayer. I prostrate reverently with my body, speech and mind. I present clouds of every type of offering, both actually arranged and mentally emanated. I confess all my negative actions and downfalls collected from beginningless time. I rejoice in the virtues of ordinary beings and aryas. Take a moment to rejoice in all of your good deeds and those of all the noble and holy beings. Please remain until the end of psychic existence and turn the wheel of Dharma for transmigratory beings. I dedicate my own and others' virtues to great enlightenment. And it's always nice to visualize. Again, we might have a visualization, a picture of His Holiness in front of us, our altars, and you could place the Buddha, imagine them in front that's inseparable from His Holiness, a thousand armed Chinresig, perhaps, Buddha of infinite compassion that His Holiness is said to be an emanation of, 
all these images is who we're doing these practices in front of like that. So we are creating merit, having them as a merit field. Mandala offering. <clears throat> This. We're going to do the short mandala. You're going to visualize as much as you can the most glorious universe you can imagine of the most precious things you'd like to offer. And on every atom of that universe are infinite more mandalas or universes. This ground anointed with perfume, strewn with flowers, adorned with Mount Meru, the four continents, the sun and the moon. I imagine this as a Buddha land and offer it May all transmigratory beings enjoy this pure land. The wish granting, wish fulfilling jewel, source of all happiness in this world, without exception. To the incomparably kind tens and gyatso, I beseech, may all your holy wishes be spontaneously fulfilled. And really concentrate on requesting His Holiness to live long. In the sky before me on a lion throne, lotus, and moon, my perfect pure guru smiles with delight. Supreme field of merit for my mind of faith. Please abide for a hundred eons to spread the teachings. And asking them to teach, to turn the wheel of Dharma. Noble minded one, primordial Buddha Vajradhara, all pervading one, by manifesting outer, inner, and secret bodies, consider transmigratory beings with love as long as the sky endures, and turn the wheels of the outer, inner, and secret Dharma. Idam Guru Radha Mandala Kam Nirata Yami. Introducing and praising His Holiness. So <clears throat> here it says somebody can talk about His Holiness. We just pause the share for a moment. Has anybody here met His Holiness? Amy, I think Amy Krantz has. Okay. There's Amy Krantz. Lovely to see you. Do you have a quick story you'd like to mention about His Holiness or any of the teachings that we've both been at together in Dharamsala? <clears throat> it's okay, Amy, I didn't mean to put you on the spot. Wait, are you on, I'm, I'm asking you to, you might be muted. Mute. I see. All there right. you go. Something. Yeah, quick. I, I only only want to say that in times of great difficulty, when I've seen His Holiness uh, change the energy so dramatically, it's it's just been an, uh, unbelievable. Uh, I rather than going into those times, I just want to leave it at that. Yes. Yeah. That's that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Uh, His Holiness. Yeah. We've both been at teachings together there, and um. His Holiness has an extraordinary quality. And one of the qualities that I have been really moved by that Amy I'm sure has noticed is um, the two Amy's here um, is um, you're at a teaching with His Holiness where he's comparing two very heavy tantric texts. And there is not, does not seem to be enough time for His Holiness to get through the whole teaching. And somehow time kind of changes and suddenly we're able to move through um, the whole, t like we're always, we, and people leave and say, how did he get through all that? Like he seemed to finish most of it. And so he does kind of um, transcend everything and be able to, to um, change reality. So I think an enlightened consciousness can do it, which can be an inspiration for us. So Amy and I have been really fortunate. Uh, some of the rest of you may have been at teachings with His Holiness. Um, I've had the good fortune sometimes on retreat. One time I had a meeting alone for half an hour on behalf of a project for Lama Zobarimshe and Dharamsala. And it's, uh, there is a quality, there is something that changes your, the cells in your body. It feels like to be around an enlightened being or someone you feel has high realizations, quite beautiful. So um, I've seen people walk out of the temple after a meeting and they're the rest of the day, which happened for me, my feet were not really on the ground. You know, there's some sort of shift from meeting someone like him. He's also very down to earth and he's very funny and personable and warm. And I think he um, is like that also to relax people because often people are very nervous 
when they see them and to be around that space of mind is just glorious, just amazing. And um, some years ago, we were in Los Angeles at a group, a big teaching, UCLA at their gymnasium with His Holiness. And there were lots of people there, but there were like 75 people from the FPMT there. So the glory of the guru, Lama Zopa Rinpoche, he arranged for a group photo with all of us and His Holiness, which was really sweet of Rinpoche. So we all crowded in and His Holiness was sitting and Lama Zopa Rinpoche was not, did not have a chair and would not sit or be any higher than His Holiness. So Lama Zopa Rinpoche was kind of squatted down below His Holiness on near the floor and we were all crunched in and they took a photo and then Lama Zopa is usually very serious around this gurus and very bent over and very respectful. I've learned a lot to see Rimshe around his gurus. And then suddenly his holiness has a great sense of humor. He looked at the photographer and he looked at Lama Zopa like this. And then he said to the photographer, did he smile? Did he smile? And then he looked at Rimshe and said, did, did, did you smile? Like he wanted to have a nice photo. And Rinpoche was, what I could see Rinpoche was, he was so like this, you know, and, it, and his holiness just, and he said to the photographer, you take another photo. And then he said to Rinpoche, you smile, you know, which Rinpoche had to do because his guru told him to. So then what he was doing as the photo was being taken, his holiness, I could see was pinching Rinpoche's neck to get him to smile, to get him to laugh. And you see Rinpoche kind of hunch over like this and you see the little corner of his mouth go up. <laughs> and you can still see this photo. They've shown it several times for FPMT, and I probably have a copy of it somewhere. And, and there's and it's delightful. So that's kind of the grace of His Holiness too, trying to relax all of us, get us laughing, and 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 as well as Amy knows, there can be a stern side, right, where His Holiness starts crying or scolding us, which is you know obviously at the most appropriate times like that. So. So let's go on with the, um, great. And Sheila has mentioned she's been at some teaching, Sheila Richardson um, in New York with His Holiness. Thank you, Sheila. <clears throat> We've got two Sheilas here and two Amy's. That must be auspicious. Okay, let's go back to our text. So this would be a time when if you like, and some, some centers are more formal, they have more, many more people. A lot of centers aren't opened, I understand. So we're, we're gonna just move through this COVID period as best as we can. And this is wonderful in Zoom. Some people would then at their altars have a big picture of His Holiness, people could go up. And what they do is put their kata there. They might have the money offering and the nice envelope they put there to make that offering, touch their head to the throne, which you can do anytime you like at a center. You don't have to wait for His Holiness's birthday. So it's like you're taking the blessings from His Holiness in front of the picture. So sometimes at this point, people would get up and circle through and we're gonna continue and read on. May you live showing us a healthy long life until our samsara ends. May all your holy wishes succeed immediately. Please guide me in all my lives until I achieve your state of full enlightenment, Buddhahood. <clears throat> Song of Immortality. These are prayers for the long life of His Holiness. We're going to read in English. Om Shvasti. To the assembly of most kind teachers, both present and past, the miraculous stance of the body, speech, and mind of innumerable Buddhas, manifesting in accord with aspirant spiritual capacities, the wish granting jewel, the source of all virtue and goodness. To you we offer our prayers with fervent devotion. That Tenzin Gyatso, protector of the land of snows, live for a hundred eons. Shower on him your blessings so that his aspirations are fulfilled without hindrance. To the assembly of all meditational deities, manifesting as countless mandalas and divinities, the magical clouds of immaculate transcendent wisdom, reaching to the farthest expanse of the space of ultimate reality. To you we offer our prayers with fervent devotion, that Tenzin Gyatso, protector of the land of snows, live for a hundred eons. Shower on him your blessings so that his aspirations are fulfilled without hindrance. To all the victorious Buddhas of the three times, endowed with ten powers and who are even masters of the gods, and whose attributes of perfection are the source of all compassionate deeds, 
benefiting the vast ocean-like realm of sentient beings. To you, we offer our prayers with fervent devotion that tens and gouts of protector of the land of snows, live for a hundred eons, shower on him your blessings, so that his aspirations are fulfilled without hindrance to the assembly of sacred doctrine embodied in the three vehicles, supremely serene, a jewel treasure of enlightenment, stainless, unchanging, eternally good, and the glory of all virtues, which actually liberates beings from the sufferings of the three worlds. To you we offer our prayers with fervent devotion, that Tenzing Gyatso, protector of the land of snows, live for a hundred eons, shower on him your blessings so that his aspirations are fulfilled without hindrance. To all the members of the enlightening noble spiritual community who never stray from the thoroughly liberating adamantine city, who possess the wisdom eye that directly sees the profound truth and the highest valor to destroy all machinations of cyclic existence, to you we offer our prayers with fervent devotion that tens and gods who protect the land of snows live for a hundred eons, shower on him your blessings so his aspirations are fulfilled without hindrance. To the assembly of heroes and dakinis, heavenly beings of the three worlds, who appear in the highest paradises in the sacred places and in the cremation grounds, and who through creative play and the hundredfold experiences of bliss and emptiness support practitioners in their meditation on the excellent path. To you we offer our prayers with fervent devotion that tens and gouts who protect of the land of snows live for a hundred eons, shower on him your blessings so his aspirations are fulfilled without hindrance. To the ocean of protectors endowed with eyes of transcendent wisdom, the powerful guardians and upholders of the teaching, who wear inseparably on their matted locks the knot symbolizing their pledge to the Vajra holder, to we offer our prayers with fervent devotion that tens and gyatso, protector of the land of snows, live for a hundred eons, shower on him your blessings, so that his aspirations are fulfilled without hindrance. Thus to this congregation of excellent undeceiving refuge, we pray that by the power of this prayer, expressed from a heart filled with fervent devotion and humility, May the body, speech, and mind of the soul savior of the land of snows, the supreme Noong Los Antenzing Gyatso, be indestructible, unfluctuating, and unceasing. May he live for a hundred eons, seated on a diamond throne, transcending decay and destruction. You are the jewel heart embodying all compassionate, beneficial deeds. O most courageous one, you carry on your shoulders the burden of all the Buddhas of the infinite realms. May all your noble aspirations be fulfilled as intended. By virtue of this, may the heavenly doors of the fortunate ear open, eternally as a source of relief and respite for all beings. Sorry, can you mute? <clears throat> Thank you. And may the auspicious signs reach the apex of existence and release as the sacred teachings flourish through all times and in all realms. May the nectar stream of the blessings of the lotus holder always enter our hearts and nourish them with strength. May we please you with offerings of dedicated practice. And may we reach beyond the shores of perfect compassionate deeds through the blessings of the wondrous Buddhas and Bodhisattvas by the infallible truth of the laws of dependent origination and by the purity of our fervent aspirations, may the aims of our prayer be fulfilled without hindrance. <clears throat> so this is a time, especially if you're offering the puja in the morning, which some people do, we were doing this up the hill earlier in Tibetan, uh, people would offer the tea and rice any refreshments and things like that. So we're gonna go on. <clears throat> Prostrations and offerings to the 16 Arhats. <clears throat> you who are the three refuges in all times and directions along with your attendants, out of your wisdom and compassion, please pay attention to us afflicted transmigratory beings. By your magical powers, which are unobstructed, Throughout the immeasurable universes, please come here and be seated in the midst of an ocean of clouds of offerings. In the center of this land is level as the palm of the hand, decorated with jewel ornaments and adorned with trees, streams, and lakes is a square palace made of jewels with four doors. You, the protectors of transmigratory beings who compassionately place those to be subdued at this time of conflict on the path to liberation, Supreme Muni and the great Arhats along with your retinues, please come to this place and be seated on cushions adorned with a lotus, sun, and moon. So imagine these 16 Arhats will come and take their seats in whatever merit field you'd like to visualize or that they're seated around us. 
all you conquerors of the 10 directions along with your children, you who dry up the ocean of delusions with the blazing fire of your wisdom, as well as the Sangha of hearers of the 10 directions, you who are praised as a field of merit for liberation, I beseech you to abide here. When I invoke you to this place of offering, please come by virtue of these offerings for the welfare of transmigratory beings, Dharma protectors, great arhats, you to whom the protector of transmigratory beings, the lion of the shakyas entrusted the teachings of the Buddha. You who open the chest of the precious teachings, I beseech you to abide here. When I invoke you for the purpose of spreading the holy Dharma, please come by virtue of these offerings for the welfare of transmigratory beings. You who receive the precepts of the Muni and bear the victory banner of the teachings, Angaja, Ajita, Vanavasan, Kalika, Vajriputra, Bhadra, Kanakavatsa, Supreme Kanaka Bara, Vajra, Vaja, Aryabakula, Rahula, Chudapantaka, Pindola, Bara Vaja, Pantaka, Nagasena, Gopaka, and Abeda. Please come to this place along with your retinues. <clears throat> you have attained Buddhahood, the perfection of abandonment and exalted wisdom, yet take the aspect of hearers by the power of those to be subdued. You 16 arhats who protect the Dharma with special enlightened activities. Please come here and be seated on these cushions. Guardians of the teachings, you who consider the scriptures of the Shugata to be foremost, you 16 arhats who forsook your own welfare and earnestly work for the welfare of others in the jungle of samsara, please come to this place by the power of your promises and compassion. I beseech you, Upasaka, who with your firm words of truth, please grant me refuge, became the servant of the three rare sublime ones. When I invoke you to this place of precious merit, please come by virtue of these offerings for the welfare of transmigratory beings. Bhagavans, it is wonderful that you've come here. Bhagavans, please remain as long as we have merit and fortune and as long as we make offerings to you. Prostrations and requests. And if you'd like, you can put your hands in the prostration mudra. I bow at your Vajra lotus feet, guru whose body is like a jewel. Due to your kindness, the state of great bliss can be attained in but an instant. Please bless the teachings to flourish. The savior having great compassion, the teacher having all understanding, the field of merit with qualities like a vast ocean, to you the one gone to thusness I prostrate, please bless the teachings to flourish. The purity that frees one from attachment, the virtue that frees one from the lower realms, the one path the sublime pure reality to the Dharma that pacifies I prostrate, please bless the teachings to flourish. Those who are liberated and who also show the path to liberation, the holy field qualified with realizations, who are devoted to the moral precepts, to you the sublime community intending virtue, I prostrate. Please bless the teachings to flourish. You who purify every unfortunate migration of all the transmigratory beings of the three realms and turn the wheel of Dharma, I bow to the lion of the Shakyas, please bless the teachings to flourish. You who completely liberate from all faults and are adorned with all good qualities, you who are the sole friend of all sentient beings, I prostrate to the omniscient one, please bless the teachings to flourish. You who have abandoned rebirth and fear by this method and teach dependent and related arising, I prostrate to Manindra, please bless the teachings to flourish. I prostrate to his body as matchless, beautiful, the color of gold, and when gazed at never satiates, you who have one face, your right hand suppressing the earth and your left in meditative equipoise. You who are seated in the Vajra position, please bless the Guru's life to be stable and the teachings to flourish. I prostrate to you, Arya Elder Angaja, who are surrounded by 1300 Arhats on great Mount Kailash. You who have hold an incense bowl and a fan, please bless the Guru's life to be stable and the teachings to flourish. So these are all the different 16 Arhats it's mentioning. I prostrate to Arya Elder Ajita, who are surrounded by 100 arhats on the face of Mount Rishi. You whose two hands are in meditative equipoise, please bless the Guru's life to be stable and the teachings to flourish. I prostrate to Arya Elder Vanavasan, who are surrounded by 1400 arhats in Seven Leaf Cave. You who threaten and hold a fan, please bless the Guru's life to be stable and the teachings to flourish. 
I prostrate to Aria Elder Kalika, who are surrounded by 1100 Arhats in Copper Country of Rose Apple Land. You who hold a pair of gold earrings, please bless the Guru's life to be stable and the teachings to flourish. I prostrate to you, Arya Elder Vajriputra, who are surrounded by 1,000 Arhats on the island of Sri Lanka. You who threaten and hold a fan, please bless the Guru's life to be stable and the teachings to flourish. I prostrate to you, Arya Elder Bhadra, who are surrounded by 1,200 Arhats in Yamuna River land. You whose hands are in the Dharma explaining mudra and meditative equipoise, please bless the Guru's life to be stable and the teachings to flourish. I prostrate to you, Arya Elder Kanakavatsa, who are surrounded by 500 great arhats in the supreme holy place of Kashmir. You who hold the jeweled noose, please bless the Guru's life to be stable and the teachings to flourish. I prostrate to you, Arya Elder Kanaka Bharadvaja, who, sur who is surrounded by 700 great arhats in the western land of enjoying cattle. You whose two hands are in meditative equipoise, Please bless the Guru's life to be stable and the teachings to flourish. I prostrate to you, Arya Elder Bakula, who are surrounded, surrounded by 900 great arhats in the northern land of unpleasant sound. You whose two hands hold a mongoose, please bless the Guru's life to be stable and the teachings to flourish. I prostrate to you, Arya Elder Rahula, who are sur who's surrounded by 1100 arhats in the land of Pranaku. You who hold a jeweled crown, please bless the Guru's life to be stable and the teachings to flourish. I prostrate to you, Arya Elder Chunda Patanka, who is surrounded by 1,600 arhats on Vulture Peak Mountain. You whose two hands are in meditative equipoise, please bless the Guru's life to be stable and the teachings to flourish. I prostrate to you, Arya Elder Pindola Bharad Vaja, who is surrounded by 1,000 arhats in the eastern land of Noble Bodied. You who hold a text and an alms bowl, please bless the Guru's life to be stable and the teachings to flourish. I prostrate to you, Arya Elder Pantaka, who is surrounded by 900 great arhats in the abode of the 33 gods. You who hold a text and have the Dharma explaining mudra, please bless the Guru's life to be stable and the teachings to flourish. I prostrate to you, Arya Elder Nagasena, who is surrounded by 1200 arhats on the broad face of King of Mountains. You who hold a vase and a mendicant staff, Please bless the Guru's life to be stable and the teachings to flourish. <clears throat> I prostrate to Arya Elder Gopaka, who is surrounded by 1400 arhats on Bihula, Mount, King of Mountains. You who hold a text in each of your hands, please bless the Guru's life to be stable and the teachings to flourish. I prostrate to Arya Elder Abida, you who is surrounded by 1000 arhats on King of Snow Mountains. You who hold a stoop of enlightenment, please bless the Guru's life to be stable and the teachings to flourish. I prostrate to Upasaka Dharmatala, whose hair is tied up in a top knot. You who carry a text and abide in front of Amitabha, holding a fan and a vase, please bless the Guru's life to be stable and the teachings to flourish. I prostrate to the four great kings, Diraraksha, Virudaka, Virupaksha, and Vasravana. Who subdue your own retinues and guard the four doors. Please bless the Guru's life to be stable and the teachings to flourish. I prostrate with supreme faith in every way to all of you who are worthy of veneration, bowing as many bodies as the number of all the atoms in the universe. Please bless the Guru's life to be stable and the teachings to flourish. This is the seven limb prayer from the King of Prayers. The lions amongst humans gone to freedom in the present, past, and future. In the world's ten directions, to all of you with body, speech, and sincere mind, I bow down. With the energy of aspiration for the Bodhisattva way, with a sense of deep respect, and with as many bodies as atoms of the world, to all you Buddhas visualize as real, I bow down. On every atom or Buddha's numberless as atoms, each amidst the hosts of Bodhisattvas, and I'm confident the sphere of all phenomena is entirely filled with Buddhas in this way. With infinite oceans of praise for you and oceans of sound from the aspects of my voice, I sing the breathtaking excellence of Buddhas and celebrate all of you gone to bliss. Beautiful flowers and regal garlands, sweet music, scented oils and parasols, sparkling lights and sublime incense I offer to you victorious ones. Fine dress and fragrant perfume, sandalwood powder heaped high as Mount Meru, all wondrous offerings and spectacular array I offer to you victorious ones. 
with transcendent offerings, peerless and vast, with profound admiration for all the Buddhas, with strength and conviction in the Bodhisattva way, I offer and bow down to all victorious ones. Every harmful action I've done with my body, speech, and mind, overwhelmed by attachment, anger, and confusion, all these I openly lay bare before you. I lift up my heart and rejoice in all positive potential of the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas in 10 directions, of solitary realizers here still training and those beyond, and of all ordinary beings. You are bright lights of worlds in 10 directions who've attained a Buddha's omniscience through the stages of awakening. All you who are my guides, please turn the supreme wheel of Dharma. With palms together, I earnestly request you who may actualize power and nirvana, please stay with us for eons numberless as atoms of the world for the happiness and well being of all wanderers in samsara. Whatever slight positive potential I may have created by paying homage, offering, and acknowledging my faults, rejoicing and requesting that the Buddha stay and teach, I now dedicate all this for full awakening. Making requests, so feeling from the heart. <coughs> Excuse me. Assembly of Arya Arhats, emanations of Buddhas, you who protect the teachings for the welfare of transmigratory beings, you 16 arhats who are the actual three rare sublime ones, please bless the teachings to remain forever. You, the host of 16,400, who are the nature of compassion, the host of retinues of the 16 arhats, who cross the ocean of existence and are without afflictions, please bless the teachings to remain forever. You who are the healers of all sentient beings, arhats, possessors of knowledge and magical emanation, great bases of the generosity of all beings, supreme Arya beings, please bless the teachings to remain forever. Dedications for the Arhat's prayer, by the power of my own and others roots of virtue, may the teachings, the source of benefit and happiness flourish. May we completely abandon all sufferings and their origins that the ocean of existence might quickly dry up. May the ocean of merit be thoroughly completed and the ocean of exalted wisdom be pure that we may complete the entire ocean of good qualities without exception and become exalted in all worlds. May there be the auspiciousness of the supreme peerless guru who is undifferentiable from good qualities, accomplishes the enlightened activities of the three times conquerors who have, have culminated the two collections and ripens those to be subdued of equal fortune. May there be the auspiciousness of the great arhats who protect the teachings and enact the welfare of transmigratory beings through compassionately taking the aspect of hearers as long as existence lasts, although they are the conquerors and the conquerors' children of the three times. For there to be happiness and excellence during the day, happiness and excellence during the night, happiness and excellence at midday, and continual happiness and excellence day and night, may there be the auspiciousness of the three rare sublime ones. By the force of the victorious one, Tsongkhapa, acting as our direct Mahayana virtuous friend in all our lives, may we never turn away for even a second from the pure path highly admired by the victorious ones. May I and all sentient beings meet the teachings of the victorious one, Lo Sang Drakpa, who lived an eminent life endowed with pure morality, a brave heart in doing the Bodhisattva's extensive deeds and the yoga of the two stages, the supreme transcendental wisdom of non-dual bliss and emptiness. May not give rise to heresy for even a second. In regards to the actions of the glorious guru, may I see whatever actions are done as pure. With this devotion, may I receive the guru's blessings in my heart. And the world really needs this peace and happiness. By the force of the praises and requests made to you, may all diseases, evil spirits, poverty, and quarrels be calmed. May the dharma and good fortune increase in the regions in which I and others dwell. Let's think for a moment about emptiness with this dedication. Due to all the past, present, and future merits collected by me, the numberless Buddhas, and numberless sentient beings, may all war, wars, sickness, famine, and economic problems in the world, and all dangers of earth, water, fire, and wind be pacified immediately. And may perfect peace and happiness prevail in everyone's hearts and lives by their generating loving kindness, compassion, and bodhicitta May the Buddha Dharma last for a long time and may the sentient beings in this world meet the Buddha Dharma and achieve enlightenment as quickly as possible. 
sorry, that wasn't the emptiness verse, but it's a really powerful dedication, especially with the planet right now and the struggles that we're having. And that's a dedication you can make every day. <clears throat> it's really powerful. Determined to obtain the greatest possible benefit from all sentient beings who are more precious than a wish fulfilling jewel, I hold them most dear at all times. Due to this virtue, may I quickly become a Guru Buddha and lead all transmigratory beings without exception to that state. This is the dedication with emptiness. Due to all the past, present, and future merits collected by me, the numberless Buddhas, and the numberless sentient beings, which are completely empty of existing from their own side, may I, whom completely empty of existing from my own side, achieve the state of full enlightenment, which is completely empty of existing from its own side, and lead all sentient beings who are completely empty of existing from their own side to that state, which is completely empty of existing from its own side by myself alone, whom completely empty of existing from my own side. Whatever understanding you have of emptiness, please reflect for a moment. <clears throat> Prayer for the flourishing of Lama Tsongkhapa's teachings. Though he's the father producer of all conquerors, as a conqueror's son, he produced the thought of upholding the conqueror's dharma in infinite worlds. Through this truth, may the conqueror Losang's teachings flourish. When of yore in the presence of Buddha Indra Ketu, he made his vow the conqueror and his offspring, praised his powerful courage. Through this truth, may the conqueror Losang's teachings flourish that the lineage of pure view and conduct might spread, he offered a white crystal rosary to the sage who gave him a conch and prophesied, through this truth may the conqueror Losang's teachings flourish. His pure view free of eternity or destruction, his pure meditation cleanse of dark fading and fog, his pure conduct practiced according to conqueror's orders, may the conqueror Losang's teachings flourish. Learned since he extensively sought out learning, reverend, rightly applying it to himself, good, dedicating all for beings and doctrine, may the conqueror Losang's teachings flourish. Through being sure that all scripture is definitive and interpretive, were without contradiction, advice for one person's practice, he stopped all misconduct, may the conqueror Losang's teachings flourish. Listening to explanations of the three pitakas, realized teachings, practice of the three trainings, his skilled and accomplished life story is amazing. May the conqueror Losang's teachings flourish. Outwardly calmed and subdued by the hearer's conduct, inwardly trusting in the two stages practice, he allied without clash the good paths of Sutra and Tantra. May the conqueror Losang's teachings flourish. Combining voidness explained as the causal vehicle with great bliss achieved by method, the effect vehicle, hardy essence of 80,000 Dharma bundles May the conqueror Losang's teachings flourish. By the power of the ocean of oath-bound doctrine protectors, like the main guardians of the three beings' paths, the quick acting Lord, Vasravana, Karma Yama, may the conqueror Losang's teachings flourish. In short, by the lasting and glorious Guru's lives, by the earth being full of good, learned, reverend holders of the teaching, and by the increase of power of its patrons, may the conqueror Losang's teachings flourish. <clears throat> Okay. Causing the teachings of Buddha to flourish. Homage to the seven hero Buddhas, Vipassian, Sikkin, Visvabhu, Krakuchanda, Kanakamuni, Kashyapa, and Gautama Shakyamuni, the Lord of Lords. Whatever asceticism I practiced before and whatever happiness I've sacrificed for the sake of all living beings, may this cause the teachings to blaze for a long time. In order to liberate living beings from their poor state, I gave my livelihood for the sake of those sick ones. May this cause the teachings to blaze for a long time. For the sake of attaining enlightenment, I gave away my son, my daughter, my wife, wealth, elephants, carriages, and jewels. May this cause the teachings to blaze for a long time. To the Buddhas, Pratyeka Buddhas, Shravakas, fathers, mothers, and rishis, I have made many offerings. May this cause the teachings to blaze for a long time. For hundreds of millions of eons, I experienced many sufferings, seeking wisdom in order to attain enlightenment. May this cause the teachings to blaze for a long time. 
I practiced proper conduct of moral discipline and asceticism for a long time and made offerings to the Buddhas of the Ten Directions. May this cause the teachings to blaze for a long time. In the past with joyful virtuous effort, I constantly remained stable and overcame all obstacles in order to liberate all living beings. May this cause my teachings ablaze for a long time. I remained always in the conduct of patience, especially toward those beings of this degenerate time who have very strong delusions and have caused me harm. May this cause the teachings to blaze for a long time. Through the power of my concentration to the subtlest mundane level, and through my countless meditations, like the sands of the river Ganges on the super mundane level, may the teachings blaze for a long time. For the sake of the wisdom of selflessness, in the past I practiced much austerity in the forest and undertook many studies and contemplation on the wisdom of selflessness. May this cause my teachings to blaze. Out of great love, I gave away my flesh, my blood, my whole livelihood and all my limbs. Through this, may the way of Dharma flourish. Previously, wanting all cruel beings to have happiness, through my loving kindness, I brought them to the path of the three vehicles. May this cause the supreme practice of giving to increase. In the past, relying on method and wisdom, I liberated beings from distorted views and placed them on the level of the perfect view. May this cause the Dharma to always increase. Through the four methods of collecting beings, I liberated them from the fire of the delusions, thereby defeating the unwholesome and contaminated, which otherwise would have increased May this cause the followers of my teachings to remain for a long time. I liberated those who have wrong views from the river of distorted views and placed them on the path of the right view. May my followers always be endowed with faith and respect. May this cause the teachings to blaze for a long time. For the Dharma King Tsongkhapa's way of Dharma to flourish, may all signs of obstacles be pacified and all conducive conditions be complete. Due to the two types of merits of the three times of myself and others, May the teachings of the victorious one, Lo Sang Drakpa, shine resplendent forever. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> from my two types of merits, vast to space that I have amassed from working with effort at this practice for a great length of time, may I become the chief leading Buddha for all those whose minds, wisdom eyes blinded by ignorance. Even if I do not reach this state, may I be held in your loving compassion for all lives, Manjushri. May I find the best of completed, graded paths of the teachings, and may I please all the Buddhas by my practice. Using skillful means drawn by the force of great compassion, may I clear the darkness from the minds of all beings with the points of the path of the vibe discern them. May I uphold Buddha's teachings for a very long time. With my heart going out with great compassion in whatever direction the most precious teachings have not yet spread or once spread have declined, may I reveal this treasure of happiness and aid. May the minds of those who wish for liberation be granted bounteous peace and the Buddha's deeds be nourished for a long time by even this graded path to enlightenment completed due to the wondrous virtuous conduct of the Buddhas and their sons. May all human and non-human beings who eliminate adversity and create conducive conditions for practicing the excellent paths never be parted in any of their lives from the purest path praised by the Buddhas. Whenever someone makes effort to act in accordance with the tenfold Mahayana virtuous practices, may he always be assisted by the mighty ones and may oceans of prosperity spread everywhere. <clears throat> okay. We're just gonna conclude with a longer version of His Holiness's Long Life Prayer, which is very, very auspicious to recite today. Just get the right prayer here. Okay, great. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Prayers for the long life of His Holiness the Dalai Lama and for Tibet as well.
the wish granting, wish fulfilling jewel, source of every single benefit. And, and Lama Zobramshe says, when you say any long life prayers for His Holiness, really think about His Holiness, really direct your energy there. Source of every single benefit and happiness in this world to the incomparably kind Tenzin Gyatso I beseech, may all your holy wishes be spontaneously fulfilled. In the land, this one we can chant in the Tibetan. Gari Ram Wego Wajing Kam De Pendang De Wamalu Chung Wene Chen Rezi Wang Tending Yatso Yi Sha Pesi De Bardu Teng Yorji Udani Jun and so May all your holy wishes be spontaneously fulfilled. <clears throat> Remembering the kindness of His Holiness, the Dalai Lama and the Tibetan people. The object of refuge of myself and of all transmigratory beings in all our lifetimes is the embodiment of the three rare sublime ones, the all encompassing three refuges is one, the guru, the wish granting jewel, his holiness, the Dalai Lama, the master Padmasambhava, the Dharma king, Song Seng Gyalpo and Tri Song Detsen, the abbot Shantarakshita and the numberless holy beings who preserved and spread the Buddha Dharma in Tibet. And the Tibetan people who practice and serve Buddhism so faithfully for a thousand years, as well as those who along with many others died sacrificing their lives for Tibetan His Holiness, may all their positive wishes be fulfilled immediately. Due to their limitless kindness, the sun of Tibetan Buddhism has now risen in the West, which is a dark land, but now that I've met with the Dharma, I've received the perfect human body enabling me to lead a meaningful life. Our refuge and savior, the Supreme One is Holiness the Dalai Lama and the Tibetan people have been so kind to us. Remembering this, we make the following dedication prayers. May all His Holiness the Dalai Lama's wishes be successful immediately. May the snow land of Tibet achieve pure freedom. May the Buddha Dharma develop even more than before in Tibet and may all mother transmigratory beings achieve enlightenment quickly. In short, may the good fruit of any extensive prayer to fully protect the land of snow made by the powerful savior Chen Rei Zig in the presence of the Buddhas and their sons appear soon here and now. Here's the prayer to be able to correctly devote to his holiness the Dalai Lama and fulfill all his advice. May the nectar stream of the blessings of the lotus holder always enter our hearts and nourish them with strength. May we please you with offerings of dedicated practice and may we reach beyond the shores of perfect compassionate deeds. <coughs> this is a little bit longer long life prayer for his holiness. <clears throat> Song of immortality. Om Shvasti, to the assembly of most kind teachers, both present and past, the miraculous dance of the body, speech, and mind of innumerable Buddhas, manifesting in accord with aspirant spiritual capacities, the wish granting jewel, the source of all virtue and goodness. To you, we offer our prayers with fervent devotion that tens and gyatso protector of the land of snows live for a hundred eons. Shower on him your blessings so his aspirations are fulfilled without hindrance. We read this one already, yeah. <clears throat> I think that is the end of these prayers. And I wanna um, just recite some of his holiness's name mantra, which is very, very powerful. 
We're gonna go slowly at first. So I say it really connect, creates a very strong connection between you and His Holiness or whichever teacher you're reciting, clears any obstacles also that you may have with that teacher of not following advice. So thinking of His Holiness, Om Ah Guru Vajradhara Batara Manjushri Bagindra Sumati Janana Shasana Dara Samudra Shri Bhadra Sarva Siddhi Hong Hong Om Ah Guru Vajradhara Batara Manjushri Bagindra Sumati Janana Shasana Dara Samudra Shri Bhadra Sarva Siddhi Hong Hong Om Ah Guru Vajradhara Batarak Manjushri Bagindra Sumati Janana Shasana Dara Samudra Shri Bhadra Sarva Siddhi Hong Hong Om Ah Guru Vajradhara Batarak Manjushri Bagindra Sumati Janana Shasana Dara Samudra Shri Bhadra Sarva Siddhi Hong Hong Just recite as many as you'd like at your own pace, thinking of His Holiness, <coughs> feeling light coming from His Holiness's heart. <clears throat> Dissolving into your crown, blessing your body, speech, and mind. Oh, my God. Om oh, Guru Vajra Dara Bhattarak Manjushi Vagindra Sumati Janana Shasana Dara Samudra Shri Bhadra Sarva Siddhi Hong Hong. <clears throat> So I would like to dedicate in particular to anyone here who needs additional healing. I very much thinking of Sean and <clears throat> Will, I'd like to dedicate to um, Ross Lasley, Kathleen Rafa, Jody Galt, um, uh, Joanne, and some people who recently died, Robert Katzenson, Andrew Valdeek, and um, all the people who passed in the last 49 days, Buddhist, non-Buddhist, may they immediately take a good rebirth to get enlightened to benefit all. For the long life of His Holiness the Dalai Lama, Lama Zobrimshe, for the great flourishing of all of our centers, especially Shanti Deva Center, and harmony at all of our centers, harmony among all of our centers. May they flourish, may we come out of COVID and really be a great support for all the students and all the beings everywhere, anyone who would like to connect. Any additional prayers, dedications you'd like to make, please? <clears throat> Just unmute and um. And please say, do I need to ask everybody to unmute or you can just unmute, yeah. Well, also for Lama Zopa. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And Chunla Rato Rinpoche. For Chunla Rato Rinpoche, a dear Lama that Amy and I knew quite well, who was based in the New York area with Tibet Center. He had a house in North Jersey, North New Jersey, passed away in, was it Dharamsala, Amy, or South India? Dharamsala. Dharamsala, Dharm he'd been with COVID, he had been uh, there for the quarantine in his 90s. Uh, a great, great lay lama that um, I'm just so distraught that he passed. It's really hard. He passed a few weeks ago. 
thank you, Amy, for mentioning. He was a, he was a bright light, no doubt. Any other dedications you'd like to make? <clears throat> I'd like to dedicate to Vivian Kingston, who passed away yesterday. I'd like to thank all of you for joining. That concludes our practices for His Holiness's birthday. Um, we could also sing happy birthday if you'd like. I'll be lighting some candles, some more candles later. Um, I would like to thank Shanti Davis Center and Sheila for hosting. Thank you so much. Please have a look at their schedule of all the wonderful teachings and practices that they have. And if you're interested in some classes I have starting next week, we're doing a kind of drop in Monday, second and fourth Monday online and in person of a Monday night. It's just kind of like, how do we deal with the situation right now? People are struggling. So I'll just put my um, website if it's helpful in the chat. I think most of you know that. Helpful. Some might be a little bit too late on the East Coast, but um, you never know. And um, I really hope to see all of you again. And I hope you stay healthy and that you're well. And it's been a delight to be here with all of you. And feel free, anything um, that you want to add in closing or just to unmute to say goodbye. Thank you so much. <coughs> Thank you, Venerable Amy. This was really Thank beautiful. You so Thank you. Thank you, Venerable. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Thank you, Venerable Amy. Thank, Thank you, you. Deva. Thank you. Yeah. Lovely to see all of you. And if you're interested, I know Shanti Deva has some great practices. Um, I'm leading meditation every Saturday morning. It's noon East Coast time. It's 9 a.m. California time. It's on, it's online. And uh, oops, some sound is kind of coming through. Um, it's online and it's in person. So you can join online. We've got a, a group in the Zoom room and you can sign up at Land of Medicine Buddha put that in here. Are they having the prayer-a-thon for Lama Zoba again this Saturday? Do you know? Yeah, so what I'm doing is I don't actually have it on their schedule because I'm doing it at 8 a.m. So that is 8 a.m. Pacific time, 11 a.m. And we're doing yeah. practices Thanks. for Lama Zoba mm -hmm. and life. Yeah. And that is also the IMI. That, that should be on my website as far as COVID practice. I think it's the same link. Yeah. So you can join us for that and you can so just go to that 8 a.m. Saturday is still happening. Half an hour practices and 9 a.m. We're shifting the meditation at 9 a.m. Noon East Coast time. If you want to just come in and met, you know, have a little meditation, about 45 minutes, feel free. A little midday meditation for East Coast folks. Uh, and, and the Land of Medicine Buddha um, website's not very good, so we're redoing it. If you go there and go to the Dharma calendar, you see everything is listed there and you can just click. You do have to register in advance. And, uh, but again, it's up to you to make an offering. It can be free, it can be whatever you wanna offer. We are struggling like every center, so, um, but um, feel free to join and all the wonderful programs at Shanti Davis Center as well. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Thank you. Happy birthday, His Holiness. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Thank you, Venerable Amy, again. Thank you, Sheila. Great to see you. Please take care. <laughs>